Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, this is my Thoughtful Thursday, as you'll see by the title of this video. So what this is is that I just come on and basically do like a chit chat, um, kind of go over things that have happened throughout my week, what I have planned for the upcoming weekend. I ask you for what you've done and what you are planning on doing as well. And I just basically kind of vent if I need to and stuff like that. So I have been missing in action for a couple of weeks now. Um, I was basically feeling really, really down about myself, about life in general, and just having a really, really bad depressive state. So I just kind of skipped out on everything for like a week and a half. I lied in bed. I didn't really get dressed. I didn't really do anything. My house went to shambles. Um, yeah, it just really, really sucked. And I just felt like a pile of crap. And now I am feeling much, much better. Um, check out my notes here quick. So I really wasn't doing anything around my house. Um, I wasn't keeping my routines. And if you struggle with anxiety, you know that routines are necessary to keep your mind busy and keep yourself focused. And I am very, very big on routine. And when I follow the routines, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't even getting up and getting dressed in the morning. I wasn't putting on makeup. I wasn't washing my face. I wasn't doing anything that I should have been doing to keep myself sane because I just couldn't. I was just done. So. It was a really, really hard week and a half for me. And then I basically started feeling better when it came to last Thursday because I was able to get out and go play volleyball again and hang out with my friends. I was able to just sit back and relax. I had a couple of drinks. Um, I got to chit chat with the girls. We won all three of our games. It just felt so much better to be out and have people around me and be able to just celebrate and have fun again. And I think that kind of was like my turning point to feeling a little bit better. So. I woke up on Friday and I was like, okay, I'm done with this crap. And I made my coffee. I decided I was going to film. So between, that was a really loud car. Between Friday and Saturday, I filmed six videos and I got them all lined up and edited and ready to go. Um, Sunday, I started putting them up and I was feeling really good about it because I fell so far behind. I literally have to put out a video almost every single day for the rest of the month. So yay. So I went shopping and I felt a lot better being able to go out and do that. That was great. Um, and then, of course, I'm trying to get back into my routines now. And it's very hard. Um, you have to push yourself because it takes like a full 30 days in order for your body to be into that routine cycle. So you have to constantly remind yourself you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to get up and do things. And it's kind of a struggle, especially when you're trying to juggle family and the house and making videos and just trying to get yourself back on track. It is hard AF. So I've been dealing with that. Kids had their last day of school on my last thoughtful Thursday. So it has been two weeks now where they have been home. Is that the two weeks? Yeah, two freaking weeks my children have been home. My house has been like a UFC ring. They are constantly fighting. I'm constantly yelling at them to just knock it off. You know, it's kind of like I'm yelling at them to stop yelling. You know, it, I, I gotta get out of that habit. But yeah, so they're constantly fighting. They're driving me up the flipping wall. And of course we've already broken the record for the I'm hungry or I want a snack phase you know so yeah that's been awesome um baby is not sleeping again so i am just physically and mentally exhausted and he's trying to get another tooth through it's like right there and it keeps coming up and down and it's just really bugging him so he's got a little fever he isn't feeling well and he's just not sleeping so i've been getting him to take a couple of little naps per day probably about a half an hour and i'm not used to that I had him in his routines where he was taking like three hour naps. It was great. And I had time to do things. And now when I get him down, walk out of the room, I literally can like make myself some food and then he's up. So I'm just really exhausted from having to deal with that. But yay for being a mom. <laughs> but it's totally worth it. Um, so yeah, I've been trying to play catch up on my house because like I said, it got really, really bad. Like you couldn't see my floors. My table had laundry on it. I, my table sits eight people. Okay. And it had such a huge laundry pile on it for like a week. It's terrible. And it just kept getting more added to it. I tried to do it on the bed and I just shuffled it off. So that didn't work. But yeah, things are starting to get back to normal. So that's really good. I feel like a lot better now this week. Um, I'm looking forward to volleyball tonight. I'm really excited to go and have some fun again. Um, it's kind of been a gloomy out. Like it was really, really nice out for a couple of days. And then lately it's been so cold. Like I'm literally still in my robe because I'm just freezing. All the blankets are out. Even my husband's cold. Okay, that's really saying something because he's always hot. So it has just been so cold and it's supposed to be in like high 70s, low 80s coming up for this next week, but then it's supposed to be storming. So my mood's probably gonna be like, again. So let's see, how was everybody's Father's Day? Did y'all have a good time? 
Um, my husband was gone like the entire weekend, so that kind of sucked. He got home at like five o'clock on Sunday afternoon, well, Sunday evening, and I had to go to the store. So, and I didn't want to take the kids with me. It was just too much of a hassle the last time. I just needed some chill out time to myself and my oldest ended up taking along anyway. But yeah, so by the time we got home, had dinner, it was already quarter to eight. So we ate dinner and we gave him his gift. It was just a bunch of his little favorite things. He was really excited. And then yeah, all the kids went to bed and that was Father's Day. <laughs> so it was such a good time. Um, but yeah, I hope everybody else's Father's Day went really well and that the dads really appreciated everything that was done and stuff like that. I know like everybody makes a big, big thing for Father's Day to make their husbands feel special or their dads feel special or, you know, stuff like that. And even on Mother's Day, you kind of get shuffled under the rug a little bit more than like Father's Day. It seems like it's celebrated a little bit harder. But also happy Father's Day to all of the mommies who are out there playing daddy as well. It's a really big one. I was that for many, many years. Um, let's see. Oh, yes. Big one. My brand new computer got destroyed by my daughter on accident. She accidentally stepped on it and it smashed my touch screen. So I have to find a new touch screen and I think I can get it on Amazon. It's just really hard because there's so many different kinds and I have to get the exact same one. So I'm having a difficult time finding it, but one of our friends will fix it for me. I just have to get the screen. So my filming, editing stuff is all kind of slowing down because the computer I have to use now lags really, really, really bad. Um, so it's a lot slower. It takes me a lot more time. It kind of sucks. But once I get the screen and then give it to him, I'll have like a week where I won't have my computer. I'll have to be like really slow at doing stuff and then I'll get it back. So it really sucked. I was really, really upset because I was like, I just bought the damn computer like two months ago and it's already just cracked. So yeah, I was freaking out because like I thought for sure I was screwed. Like deep down, you know, it's fixable. But at the time that it happens, you're like, oh my God, all my stuff is ruined. All my stuff is on there. All my documents, all my photographs from my phone are on there. Um, anything important, all pro I bought programs and stuff that are, they're put on there. Like I would have lost so much stuff. Everything from my son, from his pre-birth to when I was having him and everything. All those videos and pictures are all on my computer. So I was like, oh my God, I just lost everything. You know, total panic mode. And then, you know, I was just finally coming out of my funk of not feeling the greatest and then that happened and I was just like I shot right back down into like it's the end of the world and deep down I knew it was gonna be okay but you know I was just totally freaking out so she felt really bad I had to tell her over and over again it was okay she keeps apologizing for it so is that mascara where's that oh my gosh well that's lovely so yeah I've been just trying to keep really really busy <sighs> keep my mind busy and I've been pretty much doing so for the last couple of days. I've been going and going and going and yep. So the 4th of July is coming up. Very excited. That's my birthday week slash weekend. So we will be very busy. Um, my husband wasn't able to get some vacation days off for that like he normally does. So that sucks, but we'll at least have, you know, the 4th of July to kind of have a little bit of fun. Um, what is everybody's plans for the 4th of July? We usually do like a parade. They have a really, really long parade that we celebrate. And then sometimes we do fireworks, sometimes we don't. It kind of depends how bad the mosquitoes are. Now, because it's been so cold this summer already, I don't think the mosquitoes are going to be that bad because, like, all of our children have such bad reactions to mosquito bites that we don't allow them to go out into the yard after a certain point at night because they are, like, clouds of mosquitoes out in our backyard. So I don't know if they'll be that bad this year. We might be able to watch the fireworks, but then that would be great. Um, also, my neighbor might be doing fireworks, too, so we might be able to go over there and hang out and do those as well. But, yeah, does anybody have exciting plans? Do you guys go and do parades, or do you have cookouts, or what do you guys do for the 4th of July? Um, definitely make sure that we shout out to our military for the 4th of July and stuff like that. So, I feel like my voice is going, I woke up this morning, and I wasn't feeling the greatest. Like, my nose was plugged up, and my eyes were, like, all, like, crispy and stuff, and it just sucked. So, <clears throat> Otherwise, yeah, nothing much is really happening aside from everything I just said, which I think it actually did sound like quite a lot. So, um, that's pretty much it for my Thoughtful Thursday. It's already kind of been a longer video. I'm trying to shorten these down because I know even I can't stand listening to myself talk for like 20 minutes. So, <laughs> I'm trying to cut these ones back. But, um, I do want to give a really special shout out to all of those who did, you know, mention to me that they were thinking about me, that they were sending their thoughts and prayers. Um, 
I am not a religious person. I am an atheist, so, but I know some people like to say that they send their prayers and everything, and I'm okay with that. Um, and also, you know, just for supporting me during that little deep dark time that I was having for about a week and a half. Um, it really, really does help when somebody does say that, hey, I am there for you, or I'm thinking about you when you are feeling that down, because that is something that can pull you the correct way on your little thread that you're twisting out of. So, um, yeah, I really do appreciate it. And thank you all so much for thinking about me and everything. Um, I didn't want to make it like a pity party or anything, but I was missing for a while. I want everybody to know what was going on. So I really do appreciate that. And thank you so much. Um, but yeah, so let me know down below what your plans are for, you know, this upcoming weekend. What had you done for the week previous or the last couple of weeks because I've missed you guys. Um, but it feels nice to get back on here and talk just for a little bit and vent out my stuff. And I know I write it down in my journal and everything so that I can talk to you all about it. But it is nice to still talk it out rather than just writing it down. So yeah, let me know everything down below and let me know what your plans are for the 4th of July. I do really appreciate all of you and those that stick around and watch my videos and support me. And, you know, I really, really like that. Make sure you get my videos out there. If you think somebody in your life is interested in what my content is, I mean, it's about momming. It's about unboxing. I love doing my unboxings. I love makeup. I love shopping, baking, cooking, cleaning, all kinds of stuff. Um, so yeah, if you think anybody in your life is interested in that, let them know about my channel, share my channel, get me out there, have them subscribe and watch my videos. Um, yeah, so I hope you all have a fantastic upcoming week and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.